somewhere you feel free so some of you may be familiar with this product it is a horse dewormer by safeguard and it comes in a syringe and um, I want to talk to you today just a little bit about how to um, you know, measure the dosages for smaller horses and first of all I want to say that um, th this has if you can see in the parentheses there it says this has fenbendazole and fenbendazole has uh, been uh, shown to be quite beneficial in um, uh, helping to uh, curb cancer and other things like that it's not a cure-all, but it is something that uh, people like to give uh, to their horses. So, anyway, when you get this product, I'm going to turn it now. When you get this product, you're going to see that the, the handle of the syringe has graduated amounts, you see, for the size of horse. And by the way, this, is only, this should only be used for horses. Um, it should not be used for uh, anything that's not recommended to use but if you want uh, smaller um, smaller increments that's what I'm going to show you how to do anyway you can see here that it's graduated for a horse of 250 500 and like this and this little dial right here which I'll show you in a minute how it works this little dial where my thumb is right here you actually turn it and it um, it goes out to the proper position that you want so that when you depress the syringe portion uh, into the horse's mouth or into the drink or into the food or whatever that um, that it dispenses it. The problem with this is that that um, many people, especially if they have a horse that's about my size, uh, want to give this in increments of 250 milligrams of fenbendazole. And if you can see here, it says that this whole thing has 25 grams of fenbendazole paste. And that means that 10% of that paste is fenbendazole. So based on the 25 grams, uh, in order to get um, 250 milligrams of that, which is basically one-tenth of it, you have to graduate this plunger into equal tenths. And this is going to be a little harder to do, harder for me to show you because I've got to do it well, with one hand holding the uh, holding the camera. But if you see, this is how. If you screw this all the way down to the position it's in now before using it at all, you're going to see that there's a ridge right here and right on that inside edge of the ridge you know there with the sun maybe you can see a little better it makes a little u there you want this outside part to line up with that edge okay because if you count the number of these spaces here to the end you'll see that it's exactly 10 okay that doesn't make any sense so let me try and show you and again this is very hard to do just holding the camera but if you find that spot and count that's one two or let me do it this way since it's already shut all the way one two I get where you can see it three four five come on focus six seven eight nine and there is ten now each one of these little things, these grooves, they're not equal. If you notice, there are four, four of these. It's kind of, if you look at it from the end, they're kind of in a T. You see there's one there and another one there and another one there and another one there. And these grooves are not equal on all of those. That's why I'm showing you on this particular one. You have to find the, you have to find the, the one that splits this into ten equal portions if you want uh, to give your horse uh, 250 milligrams okay and uh, so I give my horse that's about my size um, three doses of this uh, the first three days of each month and uh, so I'll get um, I'll get three months plus one more out of this so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this I'm going to have to set the camera up so I can show you how to to screw this uh, 
screw this little part out in order to determine the proper dosage. Now, I've determined, again, that this set of ridges it will divide this into 10 equal spaces there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, what I do is I take a Sharpie, which I just dropped, okay? I'm going to mark this ridge, and it just so happens that it happens to be the one above here, but you have to go through and check each one of these series of ridges. Anyway, so I'm going to mark this ridge so that I know which one I'm trying to associate the dosage with. I don't know if you can see that very well. There it is, okay? And after that, then when I'm ready to do my first dose, you see the very edge of this, the very edge of this is right on this groove. Now watch, when I unscrew it, it keeps going and I'm gonna go until the next position, which is right there. Now if you notice the, the wheel is right on the edge of this spot. And I would give a dose by pushing. Okay. And then for next for the next day that uh, I want to give the horse that's my size uh, a dosage. Anyway, so I'm going to unscrew it again until it gets to that spot. See right there on the ridge. And that should be 250 milligrams of fenbendazole going into the drink or the food or whatever the horse of my size is going to uh, have. So I hope this helped. It's clear in my mind, if I didn't make it clear on the video, I apologize, but the point is that on each one of these graduations here, as I'm turning this, each one of these ribs, they're spaced differently, and you have to find the one that's spaced properly to get the right dosage that you need. Remember, this is only for use with horses. It is, it is not for any use other than what it's recommended for, and in fact, it even says that it's not for horses that are going to be consumed by humans. So. If you give this to your horse, don't eat it, and if you give it to the horse of your size, give it 250 milligrams as often as you feel like, but this is how you figure it out from a 25 gram uh, uh, with a 10% solution of fenbendazole uh, down to 250 milligrams per dose. Far away from your troubles and worries, you belong somewhere.